rise and increase in asthma based on the closeness to uh, power plants and other kinds of industrial installations. It's old news. Okay. I live in one mile of the proposed SEPTA gas plant that brings so many pollutants. And uh, I, I don't feel that EPA can be trusted to uh, look out for the public's health in a reasonable way. Environmental permitting decisions that any impacts to health or otherwise will not have a discriminatory effect. According to federal court decisions and the U.S. Department of Justice, more com mere compliance with permit limits is not sufficient to meet this obligation. Additionally, even if compliance with permit limits satisfied civil rights law, it is unreasonable to assume that a facility will never violate permit limits over its lifetime. I'm going to just divert right here. Right. This facility has no equipment to to uh, study the data. No, right. no data collecting equipment. Once every three years. To, well, no, no, no. Once every three years, they're not even looking at data of emission data. Right. The only data they're looking at is how much gas they're burning. They are not collecting pollute like information about what's being emitted from the plant. That is in the plant. That's what we need to know. AMS website. Mm -hmm. uh, in all of them. There's no, not one of those four documents that contradicts this. Um, so there's no way to monitor anything. And they think that, well, our equipment's new, it's going to work fine, and we're just going to burn a certain amount. Uh, that, 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 that just doesn't, I don't know, I believe it. I'll come back. We get that it's legal. SEPTA has been careful to size this plant so it falls just under the EPA threshold that would invoke more regulation. That's legal. We get that you, Air Management Services, have a limited scope of review for this permit. And that's legal. We get that industry uses it as a subject to play a crucial role in achieving this goal. We ask that you deny this permit and conduct further review of this project, explore the potential impact to the surrounding communities, and identify project alternatives that meet the city's transportation needs in a way that benefits. But we will know that our government was complicit in poisoning us. Well, everyone followed the law. Ooh. We have been asking SEPTA for more than a year to hold themselves to a higher standard. And this evening, we ask you the same. Even though it's perfectly legal, please don't issue a permit to poison us. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Mina Raval, please. Hi, hi. I'm a Philadelphia resident and a member of 350 Philadelphia. And um, I've been trying to explain our perspective to SEPTA for the past year and a half. And uh, this is, I'm going to speak as a response to SEPTA's points. Uh, they say that the plant will not impact public health. And we say that the neighborhood is already burdened with a great deal of air pollution. Uh, more than one out of three children here have asthma. You've already listed the tons of the different stuff that uh, is going to come out of this plant. The nitrous oxide, the carbon monoxide, and the VOCs that you mentioned, uh, they're all primary contributors to formation of smog um, in the air, which leads to asthma. So there's a direct correlation to the kids with asthma and this power plant. The other point is that this gas plant will reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 41%. We disagree with that. Um, if the, the greenhouse gas emissions reduction is going to be a lot less than SEPTA has claimed, we think it would be no more than 20%. Uh, SEPTA has not taken into account the potential impact of methane leaks from the process of extracting, transporting, and the burning of natural gas. Uh, SEPTA is assuming that the reduction is because uh, with them putting the power plant online, um, there will be less coal used to generate electricity. 
that is um, close to the RDNA whole plant, so that is an invalid point they're making. Um, where SEPTA's other point is this is a combined heat and power plant, therefore it's efficient, and therefore it's a good thing. Well, heat and power, combined heat and power means close to 100% of the heat that would have gone up the chimney gets used in the building space to heat the water or the space. Um, this plant that SEPTA has would utilize only 35% of the heat. The other 65% is going up the chimney. So I'm not sure how efficient that is. And the 35% is from SEPTA's numbers. We didn't make that up. SEPTA's other reason for going ahead with the plant is resilience in the face of climate. Um, we think it's completely illogical to prepare for climate change by building a new fossil fuel power plant. Yes, uh, yes, right? yes. And, yes. and lastly, I want to close with when well, the Pope visited our city two years ago. We locked down Center City from cars, and the air quality literally cleaned up overnight that one weekend. So it is possible to clean up our air um, one fossil fuel plant at a time. Practicing and promoting responsible use of the Earth's ecosystems and resources. For years, SEPTA has been an industry leader in deploying cutting edge technologies to deepen its positive environmental impact. Approving this permit application, however, would discourage SEPTA from deploying innovative technologies in the Philadelphia region at a time when critical environmental protections are being eroded. Close to 37,000 people live within a mile of the proposed power plant site in this town, the majority of which are African American. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, a child in the nice town section of North Philadelphia is about four times as likely to have asthma as the average American child. Pollutants released by natural gas power plants, such as the proposed nice town plant, contribute to asthma, heart disease, strokes, and a variety of other serious problems. It is unclear whether the department has adequately examined the harm caused by exposure to the multi-pollution mixture of particulate matter, ozone, and other hazardous air pollutants. We ask that the department conduct a further study into these potential health impacts. About 250 of these postcards that were signed by an individual asking for um, what everybody from 350 and everybody else not from 350 has said. You know, nothing new there. I'm going to be 70 years old in two months. I come from a time when I felt like people cared about each other and that things that were important and that I was taught were important had to do with people and had to do with taking care of people and taking care of each other. No matter how poor my parents were, there were two things that they made sure that we always had was health. Once a year, we were all dragged to the doctors, with, you know, it was a little rural town, and we would go to the dentist, and we were well fed. The other stuff didn't matter, but to know that other people were important, and nobody was better than I was, Yes. and I wasn't better than anybody else, and that what mattered and who mattered were the people, the people around us. Yes. The profits didn't matter. The corporations didn't matter. Yes. Eisenhower was the first president. I remember the corporate taxes were like 90% or something because we were a society that was structured in the fucking New Deal. Yes. And we need, we need something else because this is not a society structured to take care of any of our needs. It's totally structured for profit. Yes. Now, we have, we have the Department of Health, and I hope they'll do their job. I know there are limits on what they can do, but people here haven't reached their limits yet. So, you know, I, we'll keep coming back and look at the pieces that we have. Absolutely, to do. absolutely. But thanks, everybody, for being here.
see Miles, please? The plans to build this no. facility have been allowed to get this far in spite of widespread opposition in the community. Now, I've heard a local politician refer to this gas plant as a possibly win-win situation for my neighborhood. Well, I can tell you, I'm yet to no, stop. one person, one single person of all my neighbors who believes this. We expect a new situation and of no benefit to us whatsoever. Not at all. Now, Not at all. It will only benefit the natural gas industry. People who, I can assure you, do not live in this neighborhood. Not at all. Or care about this neighborhood. That's right. That's right. This community, which I love, uh, I moved here 40 years ago, and I intend to stay here, is densely populated, and it's already too polluted. A gas plant would further diminish the air quality and contribute to the skyrocketing incidence of asthma, especially among children and the most vulnerable. So I ask you, AMS, please listen to our concerns support us in our efforts yes. to stop the gas. Yes, yes. What we're asking for is something so simple but so important. It's a right guarantee to us in the Pennsylvania State Constitution. We're asking for the right to breathe clean air. Yes, yes. Stay right to breathe. Different mentality today. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Else is a challenge. Um, so so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that I think we all have we all have a purpose in life. And mine and mine is going to take on a task that most that most of back away from that impossible, that impossible so people, people say it's impossible I see possibilities I don't see anything, I don't see anything as impossible. being impossible mentality mentality there are there are different mentalities but just like just like there's different ways to teach people how to use it there's different ways to communicate people it's different ways different ways to communicate people and their different mentalities so I do so I do see hope I see hope and that's all coming together and understanding each other and learning to respect Different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding I'm so, finding many, so many, many different mentalities different mentality today. It seems hard. It seems.